Hi, I'm Ron Pars from parpools.com. Today we're going to talk about a problem that's called chlorine demand. Some of you may have experienced it, um, a lot more of you will experience it, and it's, it's a problem that, that the, the bulk of the pool industry either doesn't know or doesn't know how to deal with. And what happens is you end up adding lots of chlorine to the pool, you can't maintain a chlorine level in the pool, or a bromine level, or any other sanitizer level for that matter. And we want to come up with a reason why. So let's talk about chlorine demand. First of all, let's, let's give a, a, good, a, a good or better definition of what chlorine demand is. Uh, well, according to Faust and Alley's chemistry of, of, of water treatment, a chlorine demand is defined as the quantity of chlorine reduced or converted to inert or less active forms of chlorine by substances in the water. And they, they go on to, to say that since chlorine is a non-selective oxidant, in other words, chlorine is going to just oxidize whatever it comes in contact with, almost any substance in the water will react and therefore consume chlorine. And that's what the problem is all about. It's about chlorine consumption. But it's not, it's, it's about chlorine consumption with high consumption. So in other words, if you're, if you're adding a normal small dose of chlorine on a daily basis, and you are able to maintain a, a good solid chlorine level of let's say 1.0 to about 2.0, you're doing great. If suddenly, because of, of, a, of a party or a, um, uh, a rainstorm or something like that, you end up losing chlorine, that's not necessarily a, a chlorine demand because the chlorine is doing what it is supposed to do, which is stay in the water, kill bacteria, kill, kill some algae, and then be oxidized and be gassed off. That's, that's the normal, normal scope of things. Chlorine demand is when you cannot maintain any kind of level of chlorine. First question customers ask is, what is the cause of it? What can cause a chlorine demand? Well, a chlorine demand can be caused by anything and virtually everything. So whether it's rain, whether it's makeup water, whether it is large groups of people using the pool, whether it's a lot of leaves from trees getting into the pool, whether it's grass clippings, um, uh, dead bugs, moles, anything that, that, gets, that gets into the pool. And we're talking about anything that can get into the pool. So that is going to include household chemicals. A lot of people want to save money by using some of their household cleaners in the swimming pool when those are not the appropriate thing to use. Those, those household cleaning products will contain phosphates or, 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 or nitrates which are going to contribute to a chlorine demand problem. So that's, that's why we want to keep those out. And as much as we can limit, we will also limit what a chlorine demand can be. For some of you, who have had a chlorine demand, you know that that problem can get, can be overwhelming and can get out of control very, very quickly. And that's why it's so important to shock the pool really well when you open it, open the pool up in the springtime. It's why you need to shock the pool once every week or every two weeks. It's why you need to continue doing all of those things on a regular basis to help control whatever is getting in the pool so you don't have a chlorine demand. One of the, one of the things that, that's being talked a lot about these days is the, the problem of ammonia. And we're not going to address that in, in, this, in this video, but suffice to say that ammonia is normal. And we, actually, we've already talked about it, and I would recommend that you go and take a look at our, at our video of where's my chlorine, and that will help to explain that. But ammonia is a simple, very, very simple chemical reaction that happens in all pools, all the time, all over the country, all over the world. So it's nothing to get, get all worried about. 
let's talk about treating a chlorine demand. The key to the key to treating a chlorine demand is to make sure that you get the proper amount of chlorine into the pool to break that that demand. So in other words, if you have a if you have a chlorine demand happening and and this is where regular testing by you is necessary. Make sure that 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 you're testing the pool once a week, a couple of times a week and check to see what the total chlorine is, but then compare that, or I should say contrast that against what the free available chlorine is. The free available chlorine is what is actually killing bacteria. Total chlorine is a combination of chlorine and chloramines, which is the stuff that, that we don't want. And if we don't continually cleanse the pool, or oxidize the pool of those of those chloramines or of those wastes, you will build up greater and greater chlorine demand problem. You'll, be, you'll build up a greater and greater chloramine problem, and that's what we want to take take care of. Typically, the person who comes in to visit our our store with a water sample who is complaining of a chlorine demand problem is someone who has not shocked the pool, either at pool opening or moving forward. So that's why it's so important to shock, shock the pool. Another, another thing you want to do is make sure that the water stay, stays balanced. Maintain a good pH. Maintain a proper total alkalinity. Those are key because if those aren't proper, then your chlorine is not going to act effectively. pH balance is very important because if the pH is not correct, the chlorine is not going to react in the way that it that it sh ideally should. When we talk about shocking, and, and especially when we're talking about shocking to to, to reach breakpoint or to or to break up some of this chlorine demand, we have to shock well. And shocking well means using a lot of shock. In some cases, 10 pounds per of, of shock of chlorine shock per per 10,000 gallons, or maybe even 25 pounds per 10,000 gallons may be necessary. One of the problems, though, is that unless you are playing a big guessing game, you're not going to know what the exact amount is. And that's why you can, you can, there, there are, there are places such as parkpools.com where you can go and you can have a chlorine demand test done. Chlorine demand test is really important because it'll actually break it down so that we know within a pound or two how much chlorine to add to the pool to properly shock it, properly oxidize all the waste that, it, that is in there so that you, you can alleviate that chlorine demand. When we alleviate the chlorine demand, it doesn't necessarily mean it's, go it's gone for good. If you have other factors that are affecting chlorine demand, such as everything that we talked about, whether it's environmental, whether it's people, whether it's chemicals, all of those are going to affect it. And that's why you need to stay on, on top of it as much as possible. Basically what it comes down to with the chlorine demand is you've got more bad guys than you do good guys in, in the pool. And you have to get all the bad guys out. If you leave one or two behind, they're going to round up some more, and they're going to attack the good, the good guys. And that's why we need to stay on, on top of it. Uh, as, we, as, you, as you go forward, as I said, with the chlorine demand issue, and when, you're, when you're treating it, do it aggressively. Do it completely. Make sure you get all the bad guys out. Be vigilant. If things begin sliding a little bit, take care of it, of it early. Chlorine demands are much easier to, to, to take care of in their early stages rather than their later stages. And we don't only mean easier, but it also less expensively. That's a chlorine demand. I hope that helps. If you have any further questions, please visit our website. You can download a brochure such as this one that talks about chlorine demand and other problems and other pool related problems. You can also email me at techhelp at parpools.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your pool.